Hello everyone. Uh, I said I'd do another camp video idea. Well, I'm going to make this one. Let's just go inside of here and then I want you to take a look. And uh, now you see this is just a blank spot. And really not much in it. But I want to show you guys something. With the walk around, come back here. That one, and let's hit that one now. I want you to take a look and this is what we got I am shutting that off <laughs> yeah, I mean you got a nice bed this is just general idea there's not much in here I mean this is general idea what you can do okay because you got a little front room lights TV I mean the lights come off and on you got the bedroom over here the lights come off and on in scrap box or stash box if you want now let's just say like uh, you're needing your office instead so you come around here and you trigger that one and fix this one now mind the way you can use electrical or uh, switches and stuff if you want and now you got your office right here in your front room still there and you can decorate it however you want I mean pretty the only thing that's gonna be hard to change is the walls I've yet to figure that one out directly but I will eventually and now let's say like you're uh, at home you want to cook so you remove your front room and you activate this one and we go in and now we can cook. We got a little place to sit and eat. Got your uh, desk still over there. But now it's time for bed after you get through eating and everything. So you put your bed back in and you take your office out. And there you go. So, okay, now how this is done, it's pretty simple, actually. And I'm going to show you how to do it. And it's it's really simple. Right now, we're I got a cold. I got a cold, and it's kind of hard to do anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change these walls to glass. And uh, yeah, it'll, it'll give you a, a general idea of what's going on in the house. We'll leave the curtains up too. Okay. Now you can see on the inside. Now, what's going on? I'll put a little platform out here so you can see. Let me get you floors. And I'll put a floor right here. I'll put a floor next to that. Okay, what you're seeing is, when you click this one, everything disappears. Then when you click this one, your front room comes back into order. Then, same way it goes for that side over here. You see your bed. So what you do is, you take it out. And there it goes. Now you're back into your office. And how this is done, I mean, I see people building trap camps. Technically, this is a trap camp, but not in the way of hurting someone. This is a trap camp that's for fun. And you can sit there and build your house. And what you need is three items. 
you need three items to start. You need this rug, this trap, and on mine, the trap that I use is the, I got two of them because there's this one right here, and then you got this one right here, which in there oh well I'll show you this one it's this one right here so this one when you spring it it stops straight up this one when you spring it it goes all the way over and I use this one right here it goes all the way over so what I'll do is I'll put that one back and I'll remove this one now what I meant by this rug you need to take this rug and you put it on this trap ever so kindly And you get it lined up. Now, once these traps are set down, you can't really move them after that because they are here. To you, you just have to destroy it and rebuild, put it in again. Now, from what there, okay. Now, how you make the furniture disappear is you go to your floor decor, and with your floor decor, you bring out a rug. We'll just bring out the '76 rug, okay? I'm just going to place it up there so I can see. And, uh, you can, this is just an idea, okay? Now, if you don't want it, if you want it like in the center instead, you can always add on to the other rugs like I'm going to right now. So I can put this rug basically in the center of the floor because I just want it to look there. So, what I'll do is I'll put a rug right here. I'll spin this rug around, and they're all four on that rug. On that, now I'll grab this rug, I'm not going to make it perfect probably, now they're all on that, okay, so we do a test hit, we trigger it, it goes, and everything's gone away. Now comes the tricky part of the build. And this one I found out that you might have to do it several billion times or several couple times. But what I'll do is I'll stand on the corner of it. And I'll keep pulling a Timmy on a hill like. And this might take me a while, but eventually that will sink the rug down into it. Let's go down a little farther here. Okay. And it's starting to go down. You can see it going down little by little. You really don't want it to go down too much at a time because you just grab it, stand on the corner of it and grab it. And it really doesn't matter how you grab it as long as you grab it in some way. I've seen other people do this too. And yeah, I know that there's several other people. But you know, some someone might say to do something else with it, jump or whatever. I'm not gonna jump. I have trouble doing it with the jump key with it. And sometimes I have to spin it around. And slowly we're gonna get it in there. And you just keep hopping around with it. Oh, I sunk it, all right. I sunk it too far. But that's what technically you do. Now, once you get this created, your board that does this, I'm just gonna raise that back up, probably. You can see it's still in there because you can see it go red, but I can't really do nothing much with it now. So 
since I had done sunk it too far, but once you get that done, I would suggest you that if you're, depending on how many you're gonna build on there, I'd blueprint it. So I blueprinted mine. So what I did was, I put it down as, I, I turned the floors this color for a reason. I put it down as trick floor one. So now I got my floor. And now here's the thing of it that's nice. You can adjust this rug after you get it on there. You can adjust it, but you gotta make sure you're hitting that again. And that way when you trigger it, everything goes away. Then all you have to do, yep, wearing it for a cancer awareness month, me and my wife are. And uh, let's go to floor decor. Okay, we'll put a little plants here. We'll put a we'll put a TV. I'll make sure it's on the rug. And we'll get a, a chair. So we get the chairs. I'm gonna use the same one I got in there. It doesn't matter really which one you use. Okay, and we got a TV, and we're close to power, so it doesn't matter. And we'll just act like that's there. And what we'll do is we'll go up to it, trigger the trap, and it's gone. Trigger the trap again, and it's back. And I was just you to put two traps in here and blueprint it. I only blueprinted the one. I got a second blueprint too, which ah, for some reason I didn't blueprint my second blueprint too well. So my second blueprint doesn't work too well. And uh, I think that's my second blueprint. Nope, that's my second blueprint. See, I got two floors here and uh, I could trigger the one that we've been seeing. And that's the one that don't work. And this is the one that don't work either. So if something went wrong, I either done something or I moved it by accident when I blueprinted it. Which is more likely I did. But this is the idea of it is. Like I said, so like I said, you can go in your house, you got your office, you got your front room, living room. And now it's time for dinner time. Let's just go ahead and run around here. So what you do is you take out your living room. You put in your kitchen again. Bam, kitchen's back up. You can eat and stuff like that. Oh, now it's time for bed. So you're done doing your office work. You gotta go around here. So now you gotta get rid of your office. So you trigger it. Office goes bye bye. And reinvigorate the bed. And the vet bed is back in. And now it's for time for nighttime. All right, that's all I wanted to see. If this is a simple build, like I said, it could be simple. Anybody can build this. I would suggest you not to put the walls in until you're ready to put your furniture on. And you'll have to take the walls back out and in several times because you might want to line your furniture up to the walls. And um, everything is usable. I mean, I can show you here. Uh, cooking stove is usable. Uh, stash box is usable. Bed is usable. So everything works. And until then, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and excellent gameplay. Good luck.